It is an indeed an honor to be in this uh, great club. Uh, I want to acknowledge Bob Carton and Corrine Morrissey, who are here, uh, who are also in the leadership of your organization. This is such an historic building, and so many uh, important things have happened here in the past. And there is one that uh, Mr. McCabe, your manager, always uh, reminds me of that occurred four years ago uh, by accident by two non-members of the Union League Club. Uh, the two happened to be myself and my then colleague in the United States Senate, Barack Obama. And it was November of 2007, and we both came here on a Friday, late on a Friday, to speak to a group, to greet them, and we were leaving downstairs. And as we started to walk out the door, I turned to Barack and I said, uh, have you got a minute? He said, sure. And we, I said, Let's, this room's empty over here, room right off the lobby. And we went in there and sat down, and I sat down next to him, and I said, you got to run for president. He said, what? I said, you got to run for president. I said, I've been watching you for a long time. You've got something special, buddy. He said, I haven't even been in the Senate for two years. I said, I know, but I don't think 10,000 more votes in the Senate qualifies you for president. Uh, I think you bring something to this. And we talked for about 15 or 20 minutes about the reality of his running for the Senate at that moment in his life and in his career with two small girls and a happy family circumstance down in Hyde Park and a new, uh, newly elected to the U.S. Senate not even two years in. Uh, we talked about a lot of different things and he finally said, well, let me talk it over with Michelle and uh, I'll get back to you. And so I ran into Barack and Michelle at um, an ebony dinner a couple weeks later and she pulled me aside and she said, are you serious about this? And I said, yeah. She says, you're not setting this guy up, are you? I said, no. I said, I really honestly believe that he can do it. And at his, this point in his life and career, if he doesn't make it, he's a young man. Tomorrow's another day. Okay, she said. And so they were thinking it over and deciding and I decided to maybe help them along a little bit so I announced publicly I was endorsing him for President of the United States. Just, feel, you know, felt that might help a little bit. You know. I was the first senator to endorse him for president. And for 12 months, I was the only senator who endorsed him for president. I kept looking over my shoulder, and every time I'd look at one of my colleagues, they were announcing they were running for president. So uh, it was 14 months later in uh, Iowa at the caucus uh, that his victory really launched uh, the uh, campaign that became a credible effort across the United States and a major primary effort uh, with Hillary Clinton. Uh, so I look back on the Union League Club as fortuitously the place where that meeting took, uh, took place and it, it may have had some small part in launching uh, not only a political, presidential pr political career, but a piece of history. So it's appropriate that it was here at the Union League Club. I think 